I added every character from Wednesday to Minecraft, starting with Wednesday, the main character of the show. I made her head and gave her some hair, and then I spent 20 minutes trying to make her face. After making a face that didn't look terrible, I colored in her clothes and added her braids, and finally I put a little more detail in her clothes, and I was done. I added her to the game, and she had these massive arms that I couldn't figure out how to fix, so I gave her some new arms instead, and it just made things Bruh. worse. Eventually, I figured out how to fix it, and this is how Wednesday looks in-game. Having her arms on the side like this actually looks more accurate, because she walks like this in the show. Also, because I made her from a witch, I decided to recreate the opening scene by turning the potions into piranhas and then having her throw them at me in the pool. Next, I'm making Thing, who is my personal favorite character because of his advanced dialogue. He said Bruh. it, not me. I bent his fingers, gave him a thumb, and then added the wrist thing on the top. After that, I colored him in and added some cuts and stitches all around him. I kind of forgot that Bruh. spider's legs aren't straight, so I had to remove the original legs and add them to the body instead. But after that, he was still walking sideways and floating, so I had to fix that as well. Finally, I added him to the game and nothing was wrong. Well, except for the fact that his fingers don't move, but it's that or this. Also, thing is massive when Bruh. compared to Wednesday. I'm not really sure how this works. Next, I made my actual favorite character, Eugene. Eugene is this kid who really likes bees, so I decided to make him from a bee. I squished the bee into a body, and then I gave it some legs and a head. I added his puffy hair, and then I gave him a face, and next I added his glasses. I then gave him a gray shirt, and added some detail to the shirt, and I almost forgot to give him arms, so finally I gave him some arms. I think if you ignore the fact that he's able to fly, he looks pretty good. Eugene usually takes care of the bees, but now the bees will take care of him. Now it's time to make my actual, actual favorite character. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester is this weird guy who can make electricity, so I made him from a creeper. You'll see why. I turned the creeper body into a human body, and then I colored his shirt and added the collar on top. I then gave him a face, and I tried to blend the dark parts around his eyes into his skin, and it ended up looking kind of weird. Next, I gave him some ears, and finally I colored in his pants. I'm not going to lie, he kind of looks like the McDonald's villain. Because Uncle Fester conducts electricity, I decided to edit the charge creeper to fit him, and it was surprisingly easier than I thought. In the show, Uncle Fester is also shown downing an entire bottle of ketchup, so I retextured the potions to ketchup bottles out of respect. For him. This is how Uncle Fester looks when he's surrounded in electricity, and this is how much damage he does when you aren't paying attention. The charge made Uncle Fester too dangerous, so I decided to put him in prison for the various crimes he committed in the show. Next, we'll make Enid, and she's a wolf, so I'm going to make her from a wolf. Creating a person from a wolf isn't the easiest thing to do, so I basically deleted all the body parts and made her body myself. I then added her hair with the fancy colors on the side, and I gave her a face. After that, I made her a striped sweater, and finally I put her hands in a claw position or something. Surprisingly, she isn't too broken in game except for her fingers. I'm trying to find out why I put both thumbs on the same side. I put Enid next to Wednesday, and there is a really weird height difference. I mean, look guys, she's even taller than me. I also tried to tame her because she's a wolf. In the show, there is a monster, and it looks kind of goofy, but it's supposed to be scary, so I made it from the scariest mob, the warden. I gave it a big hunchback, and then I repositioned all of its body parts. I then gave him a big mouth and some funny looking eyes, and then I filled his mouth with teeth. Finally, I colored the rest of him blue, and gave him a little bit of hair on his head, just like he has in the show. Okay, it seems there's a little bit of a problem with his body parts. I fixed his body, and he still looked terribly messed up because of the warden's animations, so I decided to just leave it, mainly because I don't know how to change animations. Alright, now we can see who will win, Wednesday and Enid versus the Hyde. Okay, this is a really good fight, guys. The next character we'll be making is Tyler, for no reason, of course. I made Tyler from a piglin because, well, I don't know, I just did it. I gave him some hair, and then I drew his face, and I decided to make him from the coffee shop, so I gave him a brown shirt, and then I added his apron, and finally I gave him some black pants. I added him to the game, and I noticed that I made his head way too big. Also, there is something wrong with his apron, but I'm not fixing it. I don't care. Now that I had made Tyler, I decided to recreate the dance scene. I had to build it in the nether because, well, you know. I used quartz and black concrete to make the checkered floor design, and then I added the stage with speakers on it. After that, I added these tables on the side, and I filled the entire roof with black concrete. Next, I made the walls blue, and I added these chandelier things on the roof. I edited Wednesday's model to make her wearing a dress instead, and then I edited Tyler's model to make him wearing a suit. Finally, I spawned a bunch of random people on the side, and then I spawned Tyler and Wednesday. Oh yeah, I forgot about her arms. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how to make Wednesday dance, but I do know how to make Tyler dance, if that helps. Next, let's add Xavier. Xavier? I forgot how to say it. Xavier is a magician or something, so I decided to make him from an illusioner. I added his long hair, and then I gave him some eyes and a mouth. Next, I colored his shirt blue and added some details to the front. The school uniform has a bunch of stripes on it, so I added some black stripes all around his shirt, and finally I colored in his pants. 
I spawned him in the game, and this is how he looks. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I think his head might be a little too big, but I keep Bruh. doing that, so it's fine. In the show, Xavier is shown doing archery, so I decided to see how good of a shot he is. Okay, that's one hit. Alright, now he's missing every shot. Oh, he hit me again. Let's see what happens if I hit him. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, that's probably why they never added this mob. Next, I'm going to be making the Adams Family characters. We'll start with Gomez, who is a very successful businessman, so I made him from my favorite businessman, the Wandering Trader. First, I removed his clothes, and I don't know what I was doing here. But next, I made his body a little larger, and gave him some hair, and added his mustache, which makes him look like he has rabbit teeth. I then colored in his clothes and gave him a fancy collar and finally I added some stripes all around his suit. For some reason his arms are kind of busted and his teeth look more like rabbit's teeth than ever but I think he looked fine. Okay maybe that's a problem. Apparently Gomez is worth two billion dollars so I went to check what he was selling to try to be like him but I just found a bunch of useless items. I guess the secret to being a billionaire is selling lily pads and also having a llama that's taller than you. Next, let's make Morticia, and Morticia is supposed to be a witch, but I already used the witch, so I used the evoker, because that's kind of similar, right? I removed all this stuff and gave her some hair and some face, and then I colored her dress fully black and extended it down to the floor because it's very long. I don't really think this one looked that good, and the dress on the floor really doesn't help. Why did I do that? Her neck is also not attached, but that's probably normal for the Adams family. I also tried to spawn her with Gomez, but she just tries to kill him. Next, let's make Pugsley, and in the show, Pugsley gets bullied, so I made him from a chicken. I moved all the chicken's body parts to make a human body, and then I gave him some hair and added his face. Next, I gave him a black and white striped shirt, and unfortunately, I decided to change the chicken legs to human legs instead. I added him to the game, and he was still flapping his wings like a chicken, but his head was completely broken, so I had to fix his head. I'm honestly surprised that he looks pretty normal, other than the flapping wings. Even baby Pugsley doesn't look broken. I then decided to put Pugsley in a locker just like in the opening scene. Wait, I didn't mean it. Next, we're going to make Lurch, and Lurch is a really tall butler who kind of looks like a zombie, so I had to make him from a giant. I gave him a thin and tall head, and then I gave him a little bit of hair. Next, I added his face, which doesn't really look like him at all, and then I colored his clothes. Finally, I added a bit of detail to the collar area, and I added him to the game. I have to stop making giants, they literally do nothing. Also, we're just ignoring the hands, there's nothing wrong with them. Next, instead of making a character, I'm going to turn the Ender Dragon into the Adams Family car. First, I deleted all the dragon body parts and then I added some windows and a grill on the front. Next, I added some tires, and then I extended out the sides above the tires. Finally, I made the back of the car slant down a little bit, and then I added some lights to the front of the car. I tried to make Lurch drive the car, but I don't think that will be possible. Also, the car is flying, so that's kinda, yeah. Alright, now that we've created all the characters, it's time to put them all against the hide. Okay, I guess they don't really like each other, so we'll have to do it like this. Alright, this isn't gonna work. This is completely useless. Subscribe before 600k. I don't have an outro.